Hi, everyone at .NETConf. I'm here with my friend, Leslie. And Leslie's from the Dominican Republic, and she's been working with .NET for a little bit. And she actually has a really interesting project that she's going to share with us. But before we dive into our project, Leslie, why don't you tell us about yourself a little bit and just kind of introduce yourself to everyone. Hi there, I'm Leslie from Dominican Republic. I'm part of the MVP program in the work category Developers Technologies. I'm a developer with several years in software development, specifically with .NET technology. I fell in love with .NET because it was really easy to me to find the documentation and we have a really good community, really supportive. And that's why I'm working right now with .NET. Nice. And Leslie, I know you're also a student. So could you tell us a little bit about what you're studying in school and what school you're going to? Yeah, I'm a student at Bonive. It's a college from here, Dominican Republic, in computer science. Okay. Now, I'm really excited to see this project that you've been talking about. So could you tell us a little bit about what it is? Yes, yeah, so I'm working on my degree project called Tracing Kids Care. is a platform from the center of for Integral Care of Disability, KITE, from Santo Domingo, that consists of carrying out predictive analysis of physical therapies to children with spastic hemiparesia, a kind of cerebral palsy, from five to 10 years of age through artificial intelligence. I'm going to show you some screenshots for my project. The first one is this. This is the dashboard. This is the view for the therapist. They can see the historical information of the other patients and um, all the appointments that they have and another useful information for them. And also I'm going to show you this, another screenshot that show the information of the patients, the quantity of therapies that they have taken, the progress of the, the, ter the therapies that the, the children are taking and all them um, medical information of them. We are creating this tool because right now for the parents, it's really hard to get track on the progress of their children through their physical therapy. So then if I have a child and my child had cerebral palsy and I could come to your application, right? I could register them for the program. And now I could kind of have a better way to track the history of what's been happening with my child, like the different treatments and the different procedures that have been going on. And then also if I'm maybe like another therapist, like I can come and see like the history of that child. So I can know exactly what's happened and know where I could continue doing like the rest of my work. Is that, would that, does that make sense? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Great. Now I'm curious about what you use to put this application together. I know you use .NET, right? But like what else is involved in like making this application? Okay. We have a lot of interesting things that are here for this application. The target framework of my application is um, .NET Core 3.1. For the tracking of the task and all that I'm doing, I use Azure DevOps and Git for the version of control. The database we're using, uh, we're hosting a database in Azure, the SQL database, and also we are using Azure Functions. Nice. Well, Leslie, I can tell you this application looks gorgeous. Like it looks better than any application I've personally designed. So <laughs> I definitely want to say congratulations. Um, and it also sounds like a very good um, project for your community as well. Um, you know, I know a lot of folks might have a difficult time being able to track what's happening with their children. And it sounds like this app will hit a really interesting space where it'll really benefit a lot of parents. And so with that being said, I want to say thank you so much for showing us your application. Um, and, you know, I know you're working with like another partner as you all go ahead and build this out. So, you know, tell your, tell your, tell your, your teammate that I said congratulations as well. And, um, you know, I hope you have tons of success finishing off your degree and I hope you build some more interesting stuff for .NET, right? Like I really love to have you come back on probably maybe a little bit later to, to show off some more cool stuff that you've been doing. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> sure. And thank all of you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. And, you know, stay tuned because we have more coming from .NET Conf 2020. Bye, everyone. Bye.